Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, ninjas, like always. Welcome back. Peace be upon you. Uh, Muhammad here from Bosnia and Herzegovina reporting back to you with another review uh, of Chinese device product, uh, the Nokia X7, the 4G phablet. Uh, if we can call it right now, we could call these smartphones right now phablets abo above six inches. Or we're gonna just still stay calling them phones and the Mi Max 3 and the Honor 8X Max we can call like a basic phablet for now. I don't know, but nevertheless, uh, Ninjas, uh, this is the full in-depth review of the Nokia X7 in 2019. Is it worth buying? So uh, the f the eight uh, most kind of the eight uh, selling points of this device are basically the full uh, HD display, 6.18 inches, intelligence, AI colorful screen. It is one of the best IPS screens for for sure. We're gonna uh, show you later on. It has a pure Android stock experience, almost Android 8.1 Oreo. Uh, of course, we're gonna have an upgrade to Android Pie. Qualcomm Snapdragon 710, the best mid-range smartphone in the world. This is, of course, the best uh, mid-range processor in the world. Zeiss uh, or Zeiss Hologan uh, or Hologan lens, uh, dual back cameras, uh, 12 megapixel plus uh, 13 megapixel, Sony sensor IMX 363 with the OIS optical anti vibration on the uh, optical image stabilization plus the front 20 megapixel facial uh, beautification camera they have it like that uh, we will see later on with the, all those samples you can also have uh, separate videos regarding the full camera view full battery test the drain and full gaming review on my channel plus some speed test comparisons so check them out and let me just the price tag there right now the gearbest and banggood the gearbest is selling it for 290 dollars while the banggood is selling it for 280 dollars so it depends there please make sure to check it wherever uh, where uh, you could get it but remember that i did got my from the gearbest and huge Huge, huge thanks uh, for the gear best uh, uh, for sending this one anyway so let's begin here uh, with the design dimensions uh, what is special about this device it is obviously the design material here probably the best build device under $300 yes it is better built than the Xiaomi Mi 8 SC and better than the Honor Play so we have an 8 millimeter thick smartphone weights around 180 grams usable surface is around 82% the frames has a really special and unique aluminum alloy frame frames which are platted from all four sides and indeed it does look different it is unique in its own style because it does have also front glass and back glass just have that in mind again uh, you have a th uh, two different three different colors i think so blue red and silver plus the black uh, the one that i have it is the black version on gear best so again, Ninjas, uh, on the right side, we have volume rocker and power button. Uh, on the bottom, you have like a Type-C USB port, microphone, main microphone, sound speaker, sound chamber, speaker chamber. And on the left side, we have a dual SIM acceptable smartphone, one plus one, not two plus one. Just have that in mind. And on the top, we have, yes, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Thank you, Nokia. And another additional noise uh, cancellation microphone, Ninjas. On the back, we have the dual flashlight, cameras, fingerprint sensor, and Nokia logo. Regarding the front itself, you can see by itself that it does have this notch, which is the same size as like the like Pocophone F1, Honor Play, Honor 8X, and it's, yes, very, very similar size as even the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE. So, so far, uh, the basically, if you want to go with like a water drop, uh, water drop notch, uh, you should go maybe with the Redmi Note 7, uh, and I'm going to have the buying links below, Ninjas. Uh, nevertheless, the Honor 8X and the Honor Play do have a smaller notches. Plus, I have to mention also the Honor Nova 3i. Again, I uh, do have the navigation bars, virtual navigation bars, or you could use the uh, basically uh, off-screen gestures, navigation uh, gestures there if you don't want to go with the kind of uh, navigation bars there, virtual ones. Depends, depends of the users. And just right now, I'm just using the uh, virtual keys because I love them, love them, love them. On the, anyway, on the front, we have a 20 megapixel front camera, light and proximity sensor, and a small tiny earpiece. Uh, what is really a con, which uh, I'm gonna mention immediately, that there is no LED notification bar. There is no LED notification bar, and also maybe another one, which you do get with the Xiaomi smartphones, there is no ER blaster with the Nokia X7 slash Nokia 8.1+. Okay, so let's move to the screen, Ninjas. Uh, many things to say about the screen itself here. It is a gorgeous one. Uh, who says otherwise, he probably doesn't know what he's talking about. It's a 6.18 inch Full HD Plus display, 18.7 with 9 aspect ratio, brings a visual experience of movie theater, Ninjas. Uh, again, they say they're basically done. Uh, the, 
Nokia advertised as 86.5% screen to body ratio, but uh, honestly, that's really fake. Uh, it is fake there. It is less than that. Nevertheless, uh, we're going to stay as it is. Intelligence AI beautiful screen supports standard DSL uh, P3 a wide color gamut and HDR video playback. Yes, there is a 60 FPS full HD HDR playback in YouTube. Fine quality and rich and stereo color support eye care mode and color temperature adjustment protects your eyes at any time. Uh, screen brightness goes up to 500 nit luminance, very similar as the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE, 96% of the NTSC color gamut and it's a 1500 uh, with 9 contrast ratio. Anyway, uh, regarding the screen here, what I want to mention again, also I forgot to mention this screen density is a 403 PPI and it's a full HD plus plus resolution, uh, full lamination technology. There is a kind of a screen protection glass, but it seems that it's not a Corning Gorilla Glass 3 Ninjas. It seems that it's not a Corning Gorilla Glass protection there, so maybe this is gonna be a small con for people who uh, may basically they want to go with the branded uh, Corning uh, brand here, but it is a scratch resistant screen here so far and it, it did survive with the scratches and it feels very sturdy and a, a beautiful touch I have to it seems that they use some kind of a autophobic coating the touch is also works really good didn't have problems anyway Anyway, with the touches and the split screen feature, with the 60, 60 FPS full HD mode enabled in the YouTube plus using a Play Store or Chrome, there is no lag, at least not a noticeable for my eyes, Ninjas. Honestly, it is really great in the split screen feature, this smartphone. So the, the screen is a pass-pass, the screen goes a, a huge pro for me, it is one of the best, next to the belt, it is one of the best things uh, about this device. The processor ninja. So what is cool about this uh, processor here? The, it is the the best mid range, the best mid range smartphone, and for me the one one of the most underrated processors of the uh, of all uh, of all time. Because I don't know why we don't have this mid range uh, processor right now in the early 2019 in many different devices. I just don't get it. I don't think it's really expensive to uh, buy it and you know, of course uh, use it for your own smartphone when we consider the other brands. And I hope that uh, some other Chinese brands will try to implement this processor in jazz it's an octa core soc uh, with the of course uh, clocked at 2.2 gigahertz 64 bit arm uh, v8 system snapdragon 710 comes with the qualcomm adreno 616 gpu so this is the second gpu from adreno 600 series next to the snapdragon 845's adreno 630 it, so it does have an updated GPU drivers, Vulkan support, uh, and believe it or not, it, it does have a updated GPU drivers, even better, even some drive, GPU drivers which Snapdragon 835 and 845 do not have for emulators, lo emulator lovers. So I just want to remember, uh, remind you regarding that. Again, this is like a 0.5% in the whole world that people are using emulators, but remember that my YouTube channel is also targeting emulators and promoting them, so I have to mention mention this thing in my review. 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, or 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. Uh, the 6 gigs of RAM on Gearbest uh, and Banggood is like around $30 more expensive, so is, if, is it worth buying? If you are a hardcore user, yes, it is Ninjas. Unfortunately, with 4 gigs of RAM, you do not get one of the best RAM management. Uh, example, the Pocophone F1 will easily beat it because Pocophone F1 is just $20 more expensive than this one and it will easily beat the Nokia X7 in the RAM management and in the speed. Not just to mention the Snapdragon 845 but just specifically here the RAM management, RAM management team. SD card support is there, we do have a lot of uh, uh, sensors which uh, Xiaomi smartphones have and yes we also have a step counter which maybe for some people who do not have smartwatches or wristbands will be convenient and useful 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 anyway it's a 4g lte support so uh, remember that we have a two different versions of the nokia snapdragon 710 devices nokia 8.1 plus and nokia x7 so nokia x7 it is kind of a chinese version and it does have a few less bands it does it does have like less 3g bands and less 4g lte bands but the most important thing is regarding the 4g lte bands it doesn't have a b2 uh, and it doesn't have a b uh, wait a minute b4 it doesn't have a b4 
before so just have that in mind just have that in mind don't forget about this thing if you really need these bands you will have to get yourself a Nokia 8.1 but right now honestly it's even impossible to get it uh, uh, from Gearest and Banggood they do not sell the Nokia Egg uh, 8.1 plus only Nokia X7 dual sim acceptable you can use two nano sim cards one plus one not two plus one dual band Wi-Fi Wi-Fi direct Wi-Fi hotspot Bluetooth 5.0 with the Snapdragon 710 so it is uh, more accurate more uh, battery efficient of course uh, higher range longer range and you can connect two headphones at the same time so Bluetooth 4.2 is honestly for me would be a con if your smartphone is $300 worth Bluetooth 4.2 would be kind of a con for some users Anyway, uh, continue next, uh, a GPS, B, do GLONASS and GPS, we have an OTG support, OTA support, uh, radio FM, audio jack, uh, we have an OTA tethering and Volti support, but there's no NFC support with the smartphone, and even if you go to the settings, you can't find any options, any mention of NFC whatsoever. So if some site could mention the NFC, at least the Nokia X7 doesn't have it, Ninjas, doesn't have it. Remember, we have an Android 8.1 Oreo. I hope they're going to update this one. It seems that the global version, uh, the Nokia 8.1, comes with Android 9 Pi. So that, that is a pro for that version. So I have to mention also that that's a really uh, important difference to mention. But I think that the Nokia will soon release uh, Pi for the Nokia X7, the Chinese ROM version. Security patch is uh, two, three months old, I think so. So again, it's not a big problem. That's still fresh, but I hope they're gonna, with the next update, we'll try to update the security patch at least. Okay, Ninjas, regarding the cameras, uh, like always, please make sure to check my full camera view of this device. Uh, but for now, uh, we have a dual camera setup on the back. Great, great cameras for taking picture, pictures indeed. Also, I have to praise the, uh, the front selfie camera, 20 megapixel, and it makes very crispy and sharp selfies. Not like with the Honor, Huawei, or uh, Xiaomi smartphones, which do have that kind of uh, uh, beautify option. Even if you disable that beautify option, they still make your skin like polished and shiny. Uh, honestly, that soft a problem with these with these Asians they love that anyway European at least I don't like it at least I don't like it men men do not like it in Europe men do not like that thing bro or maybe just girls like uh, love that but we do not like it ninjas do not like uh, polishing their faces and using makeup whatever whatever man whatever whatever so uh, this is what I love the Nokia it does have this crispy and more uh, more realistical selfies so many people maybe at least the man uh, man people man boys uh, brothers ninjas will love the Nokia X7 and the selfie camera dual setup uh, Sony IMX 363 sensor 12 megapixel resolution aperture of f1.9 so a dual flashlight next to that it does have a 1080p 30 fps support and 4k support 30 fps there is no 60 fps with the full HD uh, unfortunately no no with the honor play you do get it and uh, with Xiaomi Mi 8 SE with the I think with the uh, with the Chinese version you should get it you should get it uh, anyway, let's continue next. What is cool about it? It does have an optical stabilization, so OIS is enabled, but it has micro jitters, Ninja. Similar what Mate 20 Pro had two months ago on first launch. Uh, I hope Nokia will fix this issue because it is a big problem, Ninja. Uh, example, even the uh, double, uh, double less cheaper Xiaomi Redmi Note 5, not with the OIS, but rather with the EIS, has a better video samples, better video stability with less micro jitters. So it's very awesome. Obvious, honestly, uh, you, you can just go and check the Nokia X7 uh, camera reviews. So you will see that it's very obvious. Uh, if they've done a video stability test with the 1080p, you will see that it does have this issue. So I hope they're gonna fix it. For, uh, 4K sample looks really good, uh, but no 60 FPS, like I said here. Again, the cameras will pass, so we'll just have to rely on OT update regarding this micro jitters if you are using the camera, your smartphone to record the video samples. For the uh, for the pictures, I am sort of surprised and overwhelmed. The Buka mode works really good here. Uh, you will see uh, many, many different samples in this review and in my special review. Let's go, let's go with the audio side of the review of the Nokia X7 and Nokia 7.1 Plus. Let's begin with the Max Volume YouTube app. This is my kingdom come. When you feel my heat, look into my eyes. It's Whoa. when my demons hide, it's when my demons hide. Don't get too close, it's dark inside. It's when my demons hide. What you make, I said
Damn, that's clean, bro. That's super clean, I have to admit. Uh, from 1 to 10, I'm giving it 9 score, Ninja. So the sound speakers are better than on the Pocophone F1 or Honor Play, if you ask me, Ninja. Super clean, super, super clean. This is what is uh, more important than, example, the loudness or maybe kind of to have that deep bass. In my opinion, my opinion, Ninja. I prefer this one. Maybe some of you prefer, prefer the deep bass. Uh, Honor Play and Pocophone F1 do not offer deep bass. Uh, and they still don't offer this kind of rich, pure quality. Again, Honor Play and Poké Fun do have a really great sound speakers, but they are not clean as with the Nokia X7. So Nokia X7 does have a really great uh, quality sound chip inside of it. So let's go now and test the 3.5 mm headphone jack. Okay, having them. Whoa. Beautiful ninjas, beautiful, wow, that's a really beautiful sound. You can probably see that it's even loud, very loud. Beautiful, I'm giving for the uh, headphones uh, output there, 9, beautiful, uh, uh, the quality, just the quality is uh, different than with the Honor Play and the Pocophone F1, you can feel it bro, you can completely feel it, again you can also be satisfied with the headphone jacks. Yes, there's a special 3.5mm headphone jack. Uh, super Here you go, FM radio, radio works also. Drew. Just fine, everything is fine, bro. Beautiful, with the Snapdragon 710 FM radio stock app without Wi Fi. And uh, for the end of the audio review, let's go with the mic quality, mic loudness. One, two, one, two, this is the microphone Whoa. check Nokia cool. X7. My mouth is 40 centimeters away. One, two, one, two, right now, my mouth is few centimeters away. Checking, checking, Nokia X7, my name is Muhammad. let's go, let's go. Oh, that's pure, man, that's pure, clean, super, super clean, and also quality, high quality, with the mic there, beautiful, thank you, Nokia, bro, this is just amazing, such a gorgeous smartphone, such a gorgeous smartphone, bro, premium quality, premium quality. Okay, so let's begin with the Face ID and fingerprint sensor. We're going to begin with the Face ID. What I love about the Face ID, I'll just show you right now here in the settings. Uh, you can basically, Face ID, Face Unlock. You can turn this option unlock when lift in screen off, Ninja. So basically, you don't have to tap or uh, use any button. You just lift your smartphone and it's going to unlock, Ninja. Of course, lift it to your face. Beautiful, man. This is really, really beautiful. Uh, this is so far not any single, uh, basically, kind of... Uh, Huawei doesn't have this option. I think Pocophone also doesn't have this option. You could basically kind of use that option, a uh, race to wake up, I think so. Uh, but again, you can see by yourself that it works in just... It works, but I still prefer to uh, unlock it because it's really faster. And, and you can see by yourself, you just unlock it. Because if you raise it, you just press this thing and it's faster. For me, it's faster. They will need to work, uh, work a little bit regarding this uh, uh, lift to raise or kind of, yeah, lift to wake up or raise to wake up. Anyway, Face ID works really fast. This is under 0.5 seconds, Ninjas. I mean, you can see by itself. It's really fast. Again, a few more attempts. Beautiful. It is, it is under half second, bro. Beautiful. Anyway, let's go with the, uh, with the fingerprint sensor on the back. You can see by itself we have on the back fingerprint sensor, Nokia X7. So let's go. Oh, just a minute. I will have maybe... Okay, no, it works. It works fine now. I didn't press it correctly. What the heck? It is fast. It is fast. You can also recognize by vibration that it did recognize your finger really fast. And also the screen wake up time is fast here. I am satisfied with the face ID and with the fingerprint sensor on the back, and just check it out. Uh, just a minute. It is a smaller, uh, kind of a smaller circle, but I don't think it's smaller than the Pocophone F1. Pocophone F1 has the smallest fingerprint sensor in my opinion, bro. Yeah, they're going just. I think you get the point here. Uh, let's go on and on and on. 
Battery life. 3500 mAh battery life is a big surprise. Screen on time for gaming is around 5 hours. Regular use again, beast mode with probably you could get around 8 to 10 hours, maximum 10 hours, maybe 9 hours, something like that. Again, depends on the user, but for now, for the hardcore users, gaming example, 5 hours screen on time for a 3500 mAh battery and a 6.2 inch, 6.18 inch screen here. It's a great result. This is honestly a great result. Even the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 gets a very similar uh, uh, similar uh, battery uh, battery screen on time here uh, with even a 4000 mAh power battery. So Snapdragon 710 is way better optimized for the battery than the Snapdragon 636 and the Snapdragon 660. I already proved that with the Mi 8 SE and with the Nokia, uh, with the uh, Lenovo Z5 Pro. That's why this uh, processor is very underrated. Honestly, it's very underrated processor. I hope that more brands will try to implement it and improve it and I hope I'm gonna see it with the different Android skins, uh, uh, maybe with the Huawei. That would be amazing if I can see it with the Honor devices. That would be amazing with the MUI. Anyway, let's continue next. So great battery optimization with the Nokia. Remember, charging time is around one hour and 40 uh, minutes supports fast charging. Yes, it does support it. Okay, ninjas, conclusions. Uh, so for the end, my impressions, uh, just to again, maybe, uh, reply my review in a small few points what are the cons so quickly we're gonna mention the cons here there's no gorilla glass 5 protection which you could find with the example Xiaomi Mi 8 SE which is again the same price as the Nokia X7 and it has the same processor camera with the video samples has many micro jitters which is obvious I don't know how come I'm the only person on this YouTube to, to mention this obvious camera issue is so obvious that you can't find you can't hide it man unless you're not gonna even show the video samples to the uh, bias to the future bias there's no NFC support with this uh, this one hybrid slot option Lenovo Z5 Pro and the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE are faster phones in the everyday use regarding the gaming uh, I have to admit that the Nokia X7 is a beast I was surprised that it can run PUBG at the maximum graphics better than the Lenovo Z5 Pro and better than the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE and I will prove that with the with my gaming comparisons on my YouTube channel you will see that it does run better and you can even even uh, check it by yourself because I do have a special gaming uh, uh, samples, video samples, video uh, video uploaded on my YouTube channel, so check it out. Uh, few LTE bands missing, B4 and B2 with this Chinese version, Nokia 8.1 Plus has more global bands, remember that uh, phone comes with a fast charger, but the charging speed not one of the best, uh, which I already mentioned, it takes around 1 hour and 40 minutes. It again, it, not a big problem, but it doesn't have uh, like a proper fast charger speed like example Xiaomi has. No, noti no notification uh, LED bar, I uh, don't know why they couldn't put it on the notch air since the notch is medium sized even more than medium size somebody will even say that this notch is ugly because it's not tiny like with the honor play and the honor 8x since it does, there's plenty of the space so i don't know why they didn't put the led notification bar with this one i don't get it ninjas i don't get it I anyway mean, ninjas this is it i already mentioned the pros so again we will go quickly the build quality it is a, a pro a good reason to get this one glass on the front glass on the back amazing ips screen which supports hdr mode 6.8 uh, 18 inches full HD, one of the best LCD IPS for sure, and plus the brightness is spot on. Snapdragon 710, you will be satisfied for upcoming two years easily. This is the best mid-range smartphone in the world. Great cameras for taking pictures, a realistic and lively front selfie camera, which I love here. Sharp, super sharp and crispy. Uh, 4K support, OIS, but again, remember that uh, you will have to wait for the updates to fix this micro jitters with the video samples. Amazing battery life. I, what the most shocking uh, thing about this device, it is the battery life here. Again, many commercial reviews they would say that the battery is nothing impressive or average or something like that at, because they do not test the batteries as we do here regularly and in depth so again don't trust to them ninjas honestly one of the best things probably i would put in the top four best things about this device is the battery for sure man i mean five hours screen on time five hours PUBG playing there is amazing result ninjas it's amazing result uh, anyway uh, what uh, what else fingerprint sensor on the back face id is also included amazing speakers amazing head Phone jack, pure nine score for the audio side of this one next to the uh, mic quality. Remember that it also has a Volti support, 4G LTE bands, dual band, and Bluetooth 5.0, and also the Chinese ROM 
this one uh, don't be scared you will really receive a, uh, I mean you're gonna already have you probably your uh, language because it supports many different international languages like Spanish German uh, Croatian Romanian Bulgarian Germany so may French you're gonna have those languages ninjas you're gonna have those languages so uh, my conclusions uh, should you buy it under three hundred dollars uh, uh, yes ninjas yes I don't know why I wouldn't rec recommend this uh, smartphone because it doesn't have a huge problems uh, example Lenovo Z5 Pro has more cons than this device uh, uh, which I already mentioned again both of them will have to improve the camera Lenovo Z5 Pro doesn't have a great camera as the Nokia X7 so Nokia X7 wins in the camera department uh, uh, against the Lenovo Z5 Pro but uh, if I mention if I put the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE in the same basket the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE will win over the Lenovo and over the Nokia in the camera department I remember that in just except the selfie camera so far that I noticed that the Lenovo uh, that the Nokia X7 has the best selfie camera of all these three smartphones why well, I mentioned these three smartphones because they are for now the only three smartphones with the Snapdragon 710 that I tested so that's why I'm mentioning them mentioning them mentioning them so yeah ninjas if you don't want to go with the honor play Mi 8 SC or the Lenovo Z okay I'm not gonna mention Lenovo Z5 Pro because right now it is uh, like $370 I'm gonna only mention the smartphones under $300 and the Pocophone F1 because you could get it with the discount coupon like I, like I mentioned here again in just if you don't want to go with the MUI or the MUI you want to go with Android stock experience that uh, this is the only smartphone with this mid-range uh, processor with this beautiful beautiful screen and beautiful glass premium quality on the market uh, there are plenty of the reasons to get it ninjas uh, you won't make a mistake just get it just get it ninjas but uh, again rely, uh, rely, rely a little bit on the OT updates regarding the camera video samples you're gonna be satisfied with the pictures but the video samples they will have to polish the software regarding that anyway that's it I hope you enjoyed in this very intensive in-depth uh, review here for 2019 uh, you can have the buying links below and make sure to check my other reviews of different devices I wish you all the best wherever you are Masrama, and keep it cool bro peace have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from Ching 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 China? That is the Gearbest.com and Banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!